Hi, it's Jan from YouMakeItSimple.com. Are you wanting to help out and make face masks? Maybe you just want to have them for your own home, but you're having problems finding the elastic in the stores, which is the case that I'm finding. No worries, I'm going to show you how to make this no elastic face mask with a wired rim clasp for your nose and a back access pocket for a filter if you want to. So for the ties of the mask, instead of elastic, I'm going to show you how to make those using an upcycled t-shirt. So it just fits right over your face, over your nose. Let's get at it. Let's go over quickly the items and things that you'll need to make your face mask. You'll need a piece of fabric cut to 14 and a half by eight inches. You'll need a pair of scissors, a rotary cutter and a rotary ruler and mat are really nice if you have them. If you don't, you can just use your scissors. Pins, and if you have these fabric clips, they work really, they're really handy to use. A ruler, and for the straps of the mask, we're going to use an upcycled t-shirt or if you have knit fabric by the yard, you can use that as well. We're going to be cutting those into one inch strips and cutting them to 15 inches. So you'll need four strips of one inch cut knit fabric and an ironing board and an iron and of course your sewing machine. To make the nose clamp at the top of the mask, you can use just simply the twisty bag ties or floral tape that I've doubled up. You'll need four inch strips, or you can also use a garden twist ties. The first thing we're going to do is finish the short ends of the rectangle by using just finishing the edge with a serger or a zigzag stitch. That will reinforce the edges and keep them from fraying on the little opening of the insert that we're going to make. After I finish the edges, I'm going to measure one and a half inches from each side and mark that with a pin. And we'll be sewing just this little portion of that seam right there. Just using a quarter inch seam allowance, sewing down to the pin, lifting it up and then sewing the other portion. Open up the seam allowance and press that open. So to reinforce that, I'm gonna go back to the sewing machine and from the underside, sew right along the edge all the way down on both sides. I'm just going to eyeball it. it doesn't really have to be in the center um, exact but I'm going to just eyeball that seam to be in the center and press the bottom and top edges now let's get our ties ready so the really cool thing about knit is when you cut a strip and you pull it it's going to curl depending on whether you're cutting on the stretch, the width, or the other direction, it will curl the opposite direction. So you need to decide if it's a big deal, if it's a plain colored shirt, it's not a big deal. If it's a print and you want the print to be on the outside, you're going to want to cut your strips lengthwise. So you can see that when I pull this, it curls. So the right side is on the outside. If I cut it crosswise, when I pull it, it curls to the wrong side. So this is just a blue, plain blue. I don't care if it curls to the wrong side. So I am, and it's easier almost to cut it, the cross section, if you want to. So I'm just going to cut those one inch strips. You'll need four of them. 
So I usually do two strips along the width of a normal um, t-shirt. Then once you've cut your strips, pull them apart and they will curl. So just kind of pull the whole strip so it curls. Do this with both. Clip the ends off, measure, four, measure 15 inches. Of our ties. So take one of the ties, going to insert it the end right at the corner and kind of angle it off like this. You can either use these clips to hold it in place or of course just pins. Now to make these stay out of the way of the seam, I'm just going to pull the ends out the hole that we've created and do the other side. So just pull the ends. We're going to sew from this corner down to this corner, reinforcing over the ties there. Take your scissors and clip the corners. And then turn it inside out. Poke out the corners. And press. So to measure and to make the pleats on the side of the mask, measure down one and a quarter inches and mark with a pin. Then measure down an inch and mark with a pin. And then measure just a half inch, mark with a pin. And then another inch, mark with a pin. A half inch. and then another inch. Do this with both sides. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six pins on each side. Starting out this top edge that we measure down an inch and a quarter, take this first pin, fold it to the next pin, line up those pins, and then pin the fold. Take the next pin down, fold it down to the next pin, pin it in place, and then remove the extra pin. Fold the next pin down to the next. So you should have three pleats. Make sure you're folding the same direction.
Now that it's pressed, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew along the edge really close and then I'm going to sew a quarter inch away just to reinforce that. So to make the little wire clamp at the top of the mask, you want to determine which is the top of the mask. So the folds will be going down on the front of the mask, so this would be the top. I'm going to flip that over and access that hole that we created, your wire strip. I'm using two clasps to make it a little thicker, and I'm going to fold that in half and insert it in the top fold of the mask. And just center it with your hands, just kind of center it in the top center of the mask. It doesn't have to be exact. And either pin or clip it in place. And we'll take it to the sewing machine and just to make a casing so that stays up there at the top, I'm just going to sew a quarter inch from the top fold all the way across. And I'm going to sew along the bottom as well. So there you have it. A nice um, clip for your nose, wraps around your nose, a back excess for a filter if you want to add it, stretchy ties around your head, easy and quick access to a face mask, even if you don't have or can't find elastic. Make sure you're subscribing to my channel have a wonderful day, keep smiling, and we'll see you in the next class.